this bitter gourd has become ripe. What are you going to do with this ripe bitter gourd? It is called Karela in Hindi, Corolla in Bengali. So we will chop it first. Let us chop it just now. So I have separated out the seeds, the ripe seeds and the bitter gourd, the fleshy part. This fleshy part we are going to cook. This, these seeds, if you put it in the soil in your garden, it will grow into beautiful creeper of bitter gourd. So let's try this one and let's put this in our garden. I have washed it and strained it in this and now I will take a potato and I will cut it. So now I have these potatoes which are cut a little thicker than the chips and onions which are chopped like this. Let us take a hot pan like this now, put it on the gas stove, put some mustard oil preferably, any other oil also will do. I will use some kalonji or onion seeds. If you don't have onion seeds, cumin seeds also will do. Put the onions. Allow it to fry for some time. After a little frying, we will put the bitter gourd, the karela. And let it cook for some time. While putting it, we put it in the full flame and then after some time, put it in medium flame. Medium or low so will be. And allow it to cook like this. Put a little salt, sprinkle some salt according to your taste. And a little turmeric powder. Gently flip it. Be very careful. Not to stir it much. Just spread it out and keep it in low flame. After some time, gently revert it. very gently and now we are going to put the potatoes one can do without the potatoes also but if you put potatoes the extra oil will be pulled up let us sprinkle little salt Gently put the potatoes down and the bitter gourd up. I have already put lots of turmeric powder for haldi. But if you feel you can put more. Put the potatoes down and spread it out and allow the potatoes to cook now. So all this is in low flame. Slowly you flip it like this. At least twice or thrice we will flip it before it cooks thoroughly. It tastes very good with rice or chapati. It can be eaten just like that also. So like that, just spread it out again, allow it to cook. This is a very slow process. 
you can just skip it and you can do some other work and come back. If you feel it is taking some time, you can just cover it and keep it for 2 3 minutes. Do not keep the lid for more time. Remove it and again flip it. If you keep the lid for more time, then it will all get messed up. As I told you, it's a very slow process. Cooks in a very low flame. And let's see whether it's boiled or a little bit more time is required. So I keep it for some more time. The ripe ones get cooked thoroughly and it gets broken. Whereas the raw ones remain full like this. This can be made with raw as well as the ripe ones. But the ripe ones also taste good when it's cooked like this. So it's almost done. We'll wait for 5 more minutes. Keep it on the flame and it's ready to eat. One can add a little sugar also, but that sugar is optional. So the oil has slowly flowing, flowing out. You can see the oil. It is coming out. And also the potatoes have got cooked. If you cut the potato, it will mess it. So the potatoes are cooked and it's done. So now we will put off the gas stove. Make it full. I make it full first. And now I will put it off. And allow it to remain for some time. So this is one way how which how karela is made in India. There are many other ways. I hope you will make it and eat. Bye.